National Group's new CEO says that the company will start selling parts of itself off by the end of the year. According to Edward Liddy, that'll let the insurer pay back its $85 billion government or dollar government loan. Now, AIG's rescue came last month at the height of the nation's financial meltdown. And that crisis was sparked in part by shady deals and fuzzy math. Now, the numbers aren't adding up for the FBI. The bureau's swamped with new fraud cases and not enough agents to handle them. A complication of the big counter-terror push after 9-11. Harold Cope has spent 10 years with the FBI working white-collar crime. He now heads up Copa's security consultants right here in Atlanta. And, you know, it, it seems like it's like this shuffling game. Instead of hiring more agents, they shuffle around, and then other areas suffer. So is that what happened? 9-11 hit. More agents went to the counterterrorism unit, which was lacking in the past. And now the white-collar division has lost agents. And look at what's happening on Wall Street. And what happens now is there's probably less than 750 agents overall out of 12,000 working white-collar crime cases. You've got five major cases, probably take at least 100 agents to work each one. Where do these guys come from and how do you reallocate? Okay, so for example, let's say AIG as an example. How many agents uh, does it take to investigate something like that? How many agents would it have taken to prevent something like that? Well, probably to work it, it'd be my guess now, close to 100 agents. That's a lot of manpower. And just to work the AIG investigation? Just to work AIG, and if I were running that, that's what I'd tell you. I'd have to have to work that, and it'd probably take me nine months to a year. Well, out of 12,000 agents, how many are working in white-collar crime? Are there even 100 agents? Probably about six or 700, I guess, at this time. Wow. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The bank uh, failures haven't hit yet. When that goes, no telling what will happen. So if there were a number, uh, I guess there's what, about 12,000 agents, right? So That's if right. if there would have been more, could this whole economic disaster have been prevented with regard to fraud in these companies? Well, it's possible. And the reason I say that, and I don't want to hedge, is that you're working cases. So, But if you don't have the manpower, then you're obviously not paying any attention to them. You have to put your attention to something else. Work these things two or three years ago, we may have prevented some of this today. Well, but back in 2004, I, we found this uh, in our research that FBI officials had warned that mortgage fraud posed a looming threat. That's you guys, okay? Yes. That the Bureau had repeatedly asked the Bush admi administration for more money to replenish the ranks of agents handling non terrorism investigations. But each year, the requests were denied with no new agents approved for financial crimes as policymakers focused on counterterrorism. This is straight from the New York Times. True? Partially, they hired, they brought one more on. One more. One more. So we're hurting. We need more agents. You've got to have agents to fight this. You've got at least five major cases going right now. Countrywide, Fannie, Freddie, Lehman Brothers, and AIG. It takes you about 100 agents or so each. That's 500. That's at least 50% of the guys working those cases. Big problem. So bottom line, what do you do? I mean, in this situation right now, there's got to be a push for more agents, right? Push for more agents. The Bureau has always had to do, you know, more with less. That's just one of the things that they do. What I suspect will happen is we'll probably see something that they do in other areas now. They'll form a task force. They'll go to the local police and say, listen, can you help us? We've got to have some people that have experienced and bring those in. It's about the only way they can turn this thing around. It's going to take two to three years to get these agents up to uh, to snuff if we could get them on that right now. So let me just throw something at you, and I don't know. I don't know if you can answer this or not. So. 9-11 happened. We found out the counterterrorism unit at the FBI was just brutally underfunded, not enough agents, okay? Then look at 9-11, what happened? Now we're finding out not enough agents, that the area in, in white-collar crime, totally underfunded, not right. enough individuals. Look at what's happening on Wall Street. What are you predicting? What's the next disaster? Where do the agents need to be? I predict two things could happen to us. We're going to see bank fraud hit at, at levels that you can't believe. And that's going to require, and the, anything else is going to, here's the thing that scares me. We take them away from counterterrorism to work this, then we leave holes in that area and we could get exploited. Major problem. We've got to do something to get more agents assigned to the Bureau. Well, we'll stay on top of the story and we'll follow up as well. Harold Copas, you seem to make all the right predictions, that's for sure. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Oh, moving.